Uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy from Creative Kit Kat. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, so today we're going to have a very interesting video in a sense that um, I'll be doing this for the first time ever. So what you have here are some of the items that I, or I bought a few days back and the rest are items that I already have at home. So I got this pen. I got this pen last a uh, few days back from Shine Bright. Um, I'll put the link down below. And it is actually my first personalized pen and it's made out of polymer clay. So, and when I had been using this for the past few days as well, ever since I got this, and I found that um, it's actually very comfortable to use it, especially with the thickness of this particular pen. And I feel that it's very ergonomic. And so I decided uh, maybe I could actually make a video on how to make my own polymer clay. So please take note that I'm in no way, um, in no way a professional or I, I really don't have any experience in doing this at all. Yeah, so what you see here is the very first time that I'll be doing it on my own as well. So these are some of the stuff that I had this um i have gathered from my home so if you hear any background noise um it's because there's a construction happening at the other side right just outside of my window so that's the reason why you'll be hearing a lot of um noise coming from the construction site at the building behind us yeah so what you have here are the items that i bought recently these are all from daiso these four are from daiso which I've mentioned um, on my previous video before. And this one I got from Riot yesterday when I had my shopping haul. Yeah, so this one is also a polymer clay, but I, I got this only for $2. And then um, these are the pants that I've collected over the months that I've actually been doing um, diamond painting. There's a bunch more, but I've decided to maybe just try one or two for today. And then, these are some of the stuff that I I already had previously, but I haven't opened. Okay, sorry about that. So, uh, as I was mentioning, um, these are some of the nail, um, nail art tools that I've already had. Um, but I haven't even opened them. Yeah. Um, so, I had this for a few years now. And these are um, my dotting tool. Yeah, so I have no idea whether we could use them or not, but maybe we can. I have no idea. This is from Play-Doh, as you can see, from Play-Doh. So uh, um, it's also like um, it's it's a thing that you use to slice up your uh, clay. So I, I think um, it's very useful as well. These are like the bone to score um, cardstock when you're doing scrapbooking. And then here are some tape. I don't know what you call this as well, but um, they're normally used for nail art as well. And then these are also for nail art. So <laughs> most of my stuff that you see here are nail art. And then of course my rolling pin to flatten out the to flatten out the clay. Um, what else? Um, some baking baking paper. And this is actually like a um, card maker that I wrap with a card, I don't, a sleeve that I wrap with a baking paper as well so that when I roll, when I'm rolling the, so this will become the base or the mat that I'll be using when I'm handling the polymer clay. So this is my first time to actually be using polymer clay. I don't, so uh, whatever you see, um, when I'm handling this will be my true reaction on how I'll be doing this so come along with me as I try to make my own a uh, diamond painting pen made out of polymer clay yeah so let's take everything out from the packaging let's get two or three of that everything out and then let's decide so you can see here on the box of the on the box for the 
from the Daiso polymer clay because I only got the basic colors. Uh, you could just mix and match, mix and match the 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 clay to create your own shade of colors. Yeah, so let's see. It's actually a huge piece of clay. And it's only $2.80. So I actually forgot to buy the yellow one. That's the reason why I grabbed this one from Riot. Oh, sorry, not Riot, from Lincraft. And it's only $2, yeah. But this one is in gold instead of yellow, which is fine for me because I wanted that sheen. And the last one is, oh, it's black. I thought it's gray. Oh, never mind. It's okay. I could just mix the white and the black together to make a gray. Okay, so let's see. I'm so excited and scared. Okay, so let's see. What should we start with? So maybe I should remove this first. I forgot to bring out my pliers. So let's use my scissor, which will do the job. I wanted to see if I could make a pink colored, pink colored clay. to make purple oh, this is the hard part I didn't realize this will take a lot of time mixing the colors together and making sure that it's mixed in all together I wonder if this works the same way because I think this is so hard and the uh, um, the lady from Lincraft was explaining to me that this will probably be it will start off as um, very hard but uh, you can actually bake um, you can actually um, it will become pliable with heat it says uh, with the warmth of my hands will become pliable but my hands are freezing <laughs> so I have no idea <laughs> it's already winter here and not really freezing but it's cold my fingers are cold it's dark purple will that look nice what if I add some white what will it look <laughs> like I'm sorry guys I'm actually experimenting because I wanted it to look more bright or well
try this one. I'm sorry guys. Ugh. Oh my god, it's hard. Ugh. They were saying that um after you softer than before okay so I have actually um, heated it under the blow dryer for about a minute I guess uh, a few more. well it's soft enough that you could actually um,
other side. In this case, I have extra over this side, which I need to cut off. And then I need to close this side. Oh, it's the feel of it is more spongy than a regular play-doh so I've only ever used a play-doh not a polymer clay okay, and then right at the edge you can see that it's almost covering it cut off any excess and this will probably be my the one in front so what I'll do is that I'll put the dent somewhere here to make it more um, I'll try to make it more ergonomic where I'll be But as you can see here, it moved, so I have to adjust that again. See how much it shifted? Okay, so I have to make sure that I'm covering it up again. I think this is the hardest part, removing the extra bits on the end sure that I have a clear way for the ends for the tips to go okay so there you go because I wanted some more bling onto this pen I've decided to use this so There you go guys, so it's still a bit loose over here and over here, I hope. If I squeeze it in. So there you go guys, this is how it looks like with all the gold things wrapped around it. But um, the gold ones are actually... Um, tape but they're not sticky so I have no idea if it will hold up to the to the baking process hi everybody okay so this is the pen after I have already dried it out for about 
24 hours yeah so I realized that the pen is actually squishier squishier than if the polymer clay is actually baked like if the polymer clay was baked rather than air dry like for instance this one the polar it's rock hard so if I grip the pen the pen very very hard and try to move the drills all over the canvas it won't actually deform my pen however with this type of um, however with this pen is actually squeak squishier so I don't know whether it's because um, I've only air, air dried this for about 24 hours so what happened was that I got this pen the, these two pens I've actually um, air dried for 24 hours more than 24 hours and you can see I've tried it I've tried using this pen and um, it's deforming the pen itself so I don't know whether it's because um, if I should have waited to air dry it for longer than 24 hours I have no idea or is it because this type of polymer um, clay is different from this type of polymer clay is it because I've used two different types of polymer clay that's why it's very squishy so especially in this part where um, I've squeezed in the 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 pen um, I squeezed this portion and the gold the gold um, is actually right is just there um, the gold part is actually the one that is very squishy uh, well my fingerprint actually forms um, onto the yeah it's, it's being imprinted onto the clay itself so I think this type of polymer clay is the type that you actually need to bake for it to harden um, and if I just let it air dry it wouldn't actually dry up yeah I think that's the reason why and this type of clay is actually um, meant to be air dried so this type of clay and this type of clay is different so I think that's the reason why it's very soft it didn't dry properly so that's why when I'm using this portion to squeeze the the drills onto the canvas it's actually um, deforming the pen itself so now I know and you remember I have a wrap like a tape from my nail art onto this pen it actually didn't stuck onto the pen as well and I tried to spray gloss spray onto this pen and you can see it didn't capture any gloss at all except for this portion where the gold is yeah so I'm learning my lesson so I'm going to air dry this for longer than um, 24 hours and then I'm going to put on the tips onto the end of this maybe after I dry it for another one or two more days I'll try it out and then we'll see if that works that works I'll, I'll probably do more pens um, using this method yeah so I get back to you guys again in a few days time okay guys so now I'm back for another update because it has been more than a few days since I have actually been uh, using this particular pen so I realized that I actually like working on this using this more than this types of pen so because this pen although it's very durable it's actually hard on my what do you call that on the bone it's not the knuckle because the knuckle is here so what do you call that so anyway it's hard on my when i'm using it for a long time it's hard um it gets uncomfortable especially in this portion of my finger so that's the reason why i prefer using this because it's actually quite squishier so i think i i prefer using um air dried polymer clay rather than the ones that are baked it's because of the comfiness of it 
Yeah, so I've been using it more than this. That's the reason why I've changed out the tips of this to just be the uh, multi placer while I use this one primarily because it's only a one placer. There you go. So I've been using it for about a few weeks now and I prefer this rather than the other one, uh, this one. Yeah, so um, I like it because I can choose pick and choose the color that I want to use and I have gone out and bought the missing yellow <laughs> yellow clay so I could um, mix it up to to the colors and shades that I want and I like this better however my son decided to play with this that's the reason why you see that this one is not aligned with this because he decided to twist it around so now it's broken into three different pieces <laughs> Uh, however, even if, even if that's the case, I actually uh, like using this better than the other pen. Yeah, so there you go, guys. That's just an update. So I will actually be giving out a polymer diamond painting pen as well in my Facebook group. So if you haven't um, joined my Facebook group, please search for it. It's Diamond Painting Sparklers sparklers dash australia i'll be putting in the link down below for you guys as well and the mechanics and how to win uh diamond painting uh polymer clay of your choice the color is of your choice um go down go to my um go to my facebook group to see more details so i'll see you guys on my next video i hope you enjoyed watching me making my own diamond painting pen and hopefully the accessories that i order to embellish the diamond paintings more will arrive pretty soon so i could uh, give you guys an update on on my new diamond painting pens okay guys see you on my next video bye